Hi, great fours. We are still busy with transport on land. So here you see we are writing video 2, 24 June, next to this guy here. Because today it's the 24th of June um, and this is the first bicycle, the first lesson of the bicycles. Okay. <clears throat> the first bicycle, first, was invented 200 years ago. We wrote the video to 24 June. Eh? It was invented 200 years ago. You remember we were talking about wheels and the invention of the wheels and how it evolved with, like with two wheel charts and donkey charts, charts and coaches and the stagecoach and so on. But also the here with another kind of transport, it went through the same stages at the same time more or less now because the one thing the donkey chart or the coach inspired people thinking about making a bicycle so so this the history goes hand in a hand with each other the objects that they made through the years okay so the first bicycle was invented 200 years ago now this is important to remember it was made out of wood and had no pedals no pedals so you say you see here this guy he's pushing the bike forward with his legs on the on the ground it's just like the scooters did you have the black lit the black scooters that we bought at Pick and Pay and so on when you were little. Nowadays we have fancy plastic scooters like that. They have lots of different lovely colors. But that time uh, they had only black ones and then later on they had green ones. and So they uh, made it better and more fancy through the years. Also ne, for the little ones. So if they fall, they don't fall so so hard. The rider pushed the bicycle with his feet. So that's what we've said already on the ground. Okay, so look here carefully. The first bicycle was invented 200 years ago. It was made out of wood and had no pedals. The rider pushed the bicycle with his feet on the ground there is the picture you can see how he pushes it now then there was the bone shaker <laughs> it was also made of wood now this one has pedals this one didn't so there was advancement in the bicycle so it had pedals but it had metal tires can you think um, metal bands on a on a gravel road Ooh. shake 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 and it also had pedals there you can see the pedals on that picture there at the front wheel okay so they called it a bone shaker in Afrikaans, they called it a liver skudder, which is uh, the liver in your body. It shakes your liver around. Um, and I heard a story before. I don't know if it's true. Your parents um, that have maybe um, motorbikes and knows a lot about motorbikes would know if it's a true story or not. But at the beginning, the Harley Davidson motorbikes uh, the people had to wear kidney belts. They call it a kidney belt. So it was a wide, um, a wide belt that they uh, 
bound around the waist uh, so that they, the kidneys wouldn't shake so much because you could hurt your kidneys and they said in the olden days it shaked the, le the liver here I sh I'll show you the Afrikaans liver skidder it's the liver in your body here it also says um, the bone shaker with yours and in the Afrikaans they say liver skidder so the liver in your body one of the uh, main organs in your body got shaken up a bit yeah your parents can, can tell you if it's true about the kidney belts and the holly davidsons but nowadays who i love to see people ride on a harley davidson motorbike sure that's a beautiful bike i dream about driving one as well so that's lovely for me okay now we have the high wheel bicycle it's the next one so we have the first bicycle that was very very simple like baby baby like it didn't have develop much but it was the start and if you start with something it develops further there's always someone who thinks of a better way and, the, and wood no pedals feet on the ground bone shaker wood metal and pedals no pedals pedals okay then there was the high wheel bicycles high wheel and you can see on the picture this is exactly what it is high wheel look there and there's a nice picture where you can see the person uh, that drove it there bumped into something and he had a long way to fall down to the ground okay so this is quite a thing so it had one big wheel and one small wheel the most famous high wheel bicycle was called the penny farthing it was maybe a company or someone that made those bicycles so it was quite in the in um, in fashion to have a penny farthing bicycle the people thought they were, they were very smart to drive a thing like that but it was also a bit dangerous to ride why because it's uh, high people often fell off and hurt themselves off so it's high to fall down there the high wheel bicycles let's check here the high wheel bicycles it had one big wheel one small wheel the most famous high wheel bicycle was called the penny farthing it was dangerous to ride why because if you fall you fall very far and then you could hurt yourself okay so it's a long way to fall just think about that if you fall from a little scooter or if you fall from a high wheel bicycle like that ne? yes okay let's look at the page um <clears throat> the first bicycle was uh, invented about 200 years ago it was made of wood and had no pedals the rider pushed the bicycle with his feet on the ground everything is written there and remember the words that are circled the bone shaker this bicycle was so uncomfortable people called it the bone shaker so it maybe if you have if you are very thin or you were very thin then you could hear your bones rattle maybe <laughs> like a skeleton the bicycle was made of wood it had metal tires and pedals the rider pushed the pedals to move the bicycle along then the high wheel bicycle there is also a nice and clear picture with the pedals you see the pedals here also um, are on the front wheel okay they are make a little circle here also front wheel 
itself. These bicycles had one big wheel and one small wheel as we've seen. The most famous high wheel bicycle was called the penny farthing. These bicycles were dangerous to ride. Riders often fell off and hurt themselves. Now here is the safety bicycle. This was much safer. So that's why it was called the safety bicycle. It was, was much safer. That's why it's called safety. Yeah. Why was it so safe? It looked more like the bicycles we know today. The pedals were linked to a chain that turned the back wheel. Sometimes you, I don't know if they make cars, um, if they distinguish between cars at this, at this stage of our journey in the transport, but um, I always heard my dad say and my brothers say and they talk about um, high wheel, a uh, front wheel um, <clears throat> I'm sorry I, I stopped myself um, you you hear today about people talking about uh, people talking front wheel powered or back wheel powered motor cars um, and then even four wheel powered no, both po all four wheels are powered by the axle and whatever mechanisms make the wheels turn okay so I think the back wheel was the best so that you could handle your your maneuvering and the balancing better okay and the other thing it did had rubber tires and brakes your brakes is very important isn't it if your dad and mom has a car the brakes um, and the blocks or bricks of the brakes must be um, uh, continuously be uh, exchanged because it wears off so you must make sure that your bricks on your car or your motorbike or your bicycle is intact yeah, and it works properly so the safety bicycle safer pedals chain back wheel back wheel and it had rubber tires and brakes so the rubber helped you not to rattle and fall apart yeah. okay how did bicycles change people's lives number one it saved people time saved time getting to work or school and number two it was also used to deliver goods if you look at that this person is going to his work it's a young man with a uh, backpack or a um, shoulder bag with his books and his stuff in there and then there's this bicycle with a basket in so you could put goods in there to deliver at homes nowadays we have motorbikes where the people from the pizza places they come and deliver or very large large um, uh, Frachmutus uh, trucks to deliver goods so it evolved it it um, developed into other very good things that we use today okay so <clears throat> here we can quickly look which comes it comes directly from the book bicycles saved people time getting to school and to work people used bicycles to deliver goods today's cars use some of the inventions that were first made for bicycles rubber tires and change Ch chains see there how many people drive 
their bicycles to work. That's lovely actually. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to do just this little part. The train. But this is not the train yet. They start with the steam engine because they use a steam engine to pull water from uh, the mines and stuff. Yeah. From underground. So an engine is a machine remember those word an in words an engine is a machine that makes things work or move work or move whoopsie look there it says off that works or move see there a machine an engine is a machine that makes things work or move in natural science we're also going to talk about um, energy you will see if the word comes <clears throat> somewhere in here I think I hope so engine mm, engines need few fuel what is fuel it is normally nowadays it is a petrol or coal, charcoal, coal. Charcoal is lighter and um, not so uh, full of substance than normal coal. So we use it for fires and so on, making a braai. Ooh, like a braai flakes. Engines need fuel to work. So um, petrol or diesel but in these cases the first engines the first engines they used steam steam remember steam engines used coal to heat water so they made a fire and there were big containers or they maybe I think with water in there and then the steam made those things move it was almost like a wind um, so hot water makes steam there's the word steam that makes the engine work the steam engine led to the invention invention of the steam train so we're going to do the that next time just want to see where the, I wrote the date so <clears throat> before we write the date here if you ever have the time to watch the movie again the movie's name is um, the polar express it's a very lovely movie I liked it a lot and in that movie is is about a steam train um, which can do miracles I think but if you see the, the people driving the train they used coal to make steam and they wanted to make and when they went, wanted to make it faster they put more coal on the fire so this was actually that's actually a good example of watching how a steam train works so the steam engine wasn't a train yet but people saw this mechanism and they thought maybe we can make another thing that can move and transport people with this steam. So people used all the things that was um, invented to invent something new. So here for today you're going to write 24 June where we stopped um, with the transport and next week we are going to finish off and we're going to end with a how train it's a nice picture of the how train can you think how the trains were and how it ended hmm. magnificent hey oh, people do good things 
said they also do bad things but I love the good things they do so one day maybe one of you will be that engineer to also um, make mm, very useful transport engines machines whatever or work with nice computers whatever so to, to invent something is very nice it makes uh, if, if you're a thinker if you can think about things you can develop many things even like uh, Bjorn does he loves to bake so he's also thinking things and inventing things and making new things so there are different kinds of inventions it doesn't have to be engineer type but we can have many um, good um, things to have many good things to invent and bring to the world as a as a thing to be used and make life easier okay enjoy yourselves and work hard and try your very best and work with your mom and dad or your granny or your teacher that helps you in the afternoons maybe Please work along with them and be kind and uh, try to work along with them, not against them. Okay, so see you next time for the history. Um, enjoy it. Bye-bye.